What's up, beautiful boys and girls? It's your girl, Chris from Kai Artistry, and welcome to today's video. Yes. Now, we have something so requested, so demanded by you, the people. No, it's not my nudes. Get your mind out of the gutter. It is, drum roll please, Brrr, a full face of drugstore makeup. Yes. Oh, so exciting. Now, if you like bargain-friendly makeup or would like to find some good gems that you can pick up at your local drugstore or retailer that sells this kind of makeup, then please keep watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and slap a little likes me on this video for real beauty by real people with zero judgments. Let's dive in. Now, the people have spoken. You guys have told me what you want. I get so many requests and messages for this. So we are just going to get right to it like we usually do. Now, we are going to start right in. I don't have a primer. I forgot to get a primer. So we're going to start right in with foundation. As you can tell, this skin is a la virgin. We just have skincare on. And I did do my brows to save you guys from four hours of video, unedited video. So besides that, nothing's on our skin. Um... We are going in with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow, which I think is a newer formula. There's a little, there's a lot of L'Oreal products. I was like going crazy in the L'Oreal section, but there was so many other things that I wanted to try that weren't L'Oreal and they were out of a lot of stuff. So there is some wild cards thrown in there. Now I have tried the regular Infallible, Infallible before. And I love it for a drugstore formula. It is great for the price. It has great coverage, but I saw this and I wanted to do something fresh and glowy and springy. So I really, really was curious about this formula. I got another foundation too. It's like a full coverage infallible one. So I guess these are like total opposite ends, opposite ends of the spectrum, but this is the look we wanted to go for today. Something dewy. So this is the one I chose. Okay. I'm just blending that in. I'm going to keep it light. I have been loving a light radiant foundation lately, which I never did before. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and I just don't want like that crazy pancake face anymore because before I was a full coverage hoe as you know that's just my jam and I still like really good coverage but I'm liking the more medium coverage foundations lately that you can build up to what you want. Now this isn't necessarily my shade it's a little dark for me but uh, Walmart doesn't have testers <laughs> like you're here you know Sephora and stuff like that so I didn't get to shade match I had a spray tan. I was like, I just grabbed it and was like, oh, this will do. And just threw it in the cart. And <laughs> so this would have been great a week ago when I had a much darker spray tan. But we're going to make it work because that's what we do. And I'm just, you know, I don't want to go into too much. Like I said, keeping it on the sheer side. I'm loving this foundation. Look how glowy that is. Oh, okay. Just a smidge more and go down the neck. You always want to make sure you get some on your neck so you don't have that harsh line. Oh, and I'm so excited. I haven't tried like half of these products. So this is also kind of a first impressions too. Always get the ear a little bit. All right. Ah, I love this. This is such a beautiful foundation for spring. Yes. Love it. Okay, we are going to go in next with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear Corrector Concealer, which I think is going to, oh yeah, a little light for me, but that's okay. We're going to go in very lightly with this, just in the places we want it. A little bit on the nose, a little bit on the forehead, just in the place we want to add a little brightness, you know, not too much. This is what I'm going to use to prime my eyes. Okay, and usually I let it sit for a minute, but that just makes it more full coverage and we're not going for that today. So I'm just gonna go in and blend it with the same 
beauty blender I used for my foundation to give it a nice cohesive look. Okay. Beautiful. So how is everybody doing on this gorgeous day or night, whenever you're watching this? I know we had like a few days ago, it was like shorts, sandals, flip flops or whatever you wanna call them, windows down. It was so beautiful. And then the next day we were shoveling five inches of snow. So, you know, that's as we say up here in the quiet corner, that's New England for you. Wicked awesome. That's my little New England accent. Okay, now that we got the concealer down, I'm just gonna very lightly go in with some powder. Now I realized when I got home, I forgot to pick up a setting powder that was drugstore, but luckily I do have a setting powder that is a drugstore brand that you can get pretty much anywhere that is super cheap that I actually really love. It's the Cody, I can't really show you because I have powder, the Cody Airspun. I think this is just the regular translucent. This is a really good powder. I'm not gonna set my whole entire face because I don't wanna lose that glow. I just wanna set basically the T-zone and like where I put the concealer to help with creasing, just to make it so it doesn't budge. All right, beautiful. This is gonna be a quick beat, y'all. So I'm trying to use this, but I do have a mirror on deck in case I need it. I'm gonna adjust real quick. Okay. Next, we are gonna go in with, oh my God, I totally forgot. Um, I wanted to use this, oh, gross. Um, this was um, something I was really intrigued by, the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Glotion. It, I thought it was like a primer glowy thing. You're supposed to put it underneath. Oh, I guess you can put it on top of your powder too. Okay, as like a highlight. Okay, so we'll save that for afterwards and we'll go in with bronzer. This is our first non-L'Oreal, well, no, this first non-L'Oreal item I bought in the store. It's the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer and it's waterproof, which is awesome in Sun Browns 022. Now, the reason why I didn't get, A, L'Oreal was out of like all their regular bronzers and I was really sad about that. They only had like these new ones and they were like almost $20 and I'm like, I want to keep this on the more, like I said, affordable, wallet friendly side because there is different levels of drugstore makeup as we all know. And this one versus the like, I don't know, I think it was like $18 for the L'Oreal new ones. This one's like $5.99. I'll have all the prices listed down below. And this formula, you guys, is blending beautifully. This is blending just as good as some of my bronzers that are in like the 30, 40 price range. Oh, goodness. And it's like very beautiful, natural finish. I'm probably gonna say natural like 50 times during this because that's what we're doing. That's what we're going for. And this, we're not doing a contour as we don't, something, don't want something too heavy. So this is just doing the work for me of both, adding warmth and dimension. And when there's almost nothing on the brush, I kind of go over the spots where the concealer was just to kind of mesh it all together. Look at that, beautiful. Now I did do big oval motions, which does, you know, round out the face. So if you have a rounder face, I wouldn't recommend that, but it, you know, it's a little bit less harsh than just the straight line that I normally do. So. Yeah, I have a huge face, so I don't need any more rounding, but as well. All right, next we are going in with the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush. Blush, yeah, it's a brush we're gonna put on our face. Ah, I closed it, no. Now this isn't a new formula, but this is a new shade apparently, Baby Blossom. Now, I just love that for summer. It's beautiful. It may be a smidge light, but we're gonna see what happens. Okay, she's showing up. If I was like my normal skin color, which is super, super uber fair, this would pop a little bit more, but I still have some remnants of my spray tan. So we're just gonna plop that. 
more concentrated on the higher area. If it seems like I'm packing on a lot, it's because in your makeup, no matter what you use, usually blush is the first thing to go. I like putting blush on my nose and just kind of putting all the colors everywhere. So by the time you're done with your makeup, half your blush that you put on is going to be gone. So it's okay to go a little heavy handed. And if it's just way too much for you, go back in with your beauty blender or a clean brush and shear it out or use a tiny bit of translucent powder and shear it out so it, until it's the right shade that you like. Now that's very pretty, perfect for spring. I love a baby pink, love it. Now we're gonna try this glow lotion. I'm very intrigued by this. They had, this is a light shade. I think they had four shades and they were out of the second shade, which was like a, uh, the one I wanted, of course. It, it was like a peachy color. This one's more of a pearl. And the other ones were just a little too dark for me, very bronzy, very coppery. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna grab my mirror for this. Because I wanna see close up what this is gonna do. I'm just gonna put the back of that of my beauty blender. Just kind of lightly go in with it. I don't usually put liquids or creams or anything over powder because it tends to be impossible to blend and it usually, oh, oh, okay now. Oh, she is pretty. And I really like this blush close up. It is like so much more pigmented in person. Okay, she's not eating up my foundation like I thought she was going to. Okay, L'Oreal, okay. Oh, this is like beautiful, soft, subtle. I need more. I need more. This is so much more exciting than I thought it would be. This is really good for a bridal look, this stuff. Like it's a beautiful, subtle, non-glittery, metallic highlight. Very dewy, very glow from within kind of thing, which I love. And it's perfect for today's theme. Just gonna go on the high points of my face with this. We do have a highlighter we're using on top of this because it's me and I got, you know, I'm an extra hooker. So I gotta have that extra zhuzh. But this is beautiful. For those of you who are a little more timid with your highlighter, this is perfect. I bet this would be beautiful underneath foundation too. Next time I'm gonna try this. Oh, I'm so excited. I found a diamond in the rough, so to speak. I put too much on that second time. Whew. Or too much on my hand, so now I got a little extra product. Which you, I could just wipe it off, but you know me, I'm just gonna keep on putting it on. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay. Beautiful. Once that dries a little bit, give it a quick fan. I am gonna go over with just a touch of blush real quick, just because I put a little bit too much on my cheeks. So you definitely want to have a light hand, I think, because I just piled it on when it was wet. But we're going to blend it together. Still keeping that beautiful glow. Wow, I really, really like that product. Go L'Oreal. Now, this I am excited about. Like crazy, it is Heart Candy, which is a brand you do not hear a lot about. Stay Glassy Highlighter. Look at that, you guys. Like, look how pretty that is. It is this beautiful baby peach champagne color. It is peach, please. So yeah, nice peachy shade. Perfect for spring. And I just, I had to try it. I had to try it. Hard candy, you know, it is definitely a much more affordable brand. And they have some really cutesy stuff. Okay. You know, maybe one day I'll do a full face of them. Do you guys think I should like make this a series because there's like a million drugstore brands now? Leave a comment down below. Maybe we'll try them all. I'm just going to dust, you know, some right over where I put that lotion. Working it in, working it in. Yeah, L'Oreal, once again, they didn't have like any single highlighters. They had these highlighter palettes and I just was not feeling them. I, I just wasn't. They weren't my cup of tea or shades. But they may work for you, so check them out. I was honestly like a kid in the candy store at Walmart. It took me like over an hour to pick out all this stuff because I was like, oh, I want it all. And I, like I said, I was trying to stick with one brand, but I just I just couldn't do it. So I said, maybe I will do a series because I'm finding some really good stuff here. 
that I did not expect. Now, we are gonna go in with the eyes, and we have something by L'Oreal, the Paradise Enchanted, scented eyeshadow. Didn't know it was scented. Something beautiful pink. First, I swatched a couple colors because I was like, I have to touch it. So, purple, purple. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot talk. <laughs> Perfect light and some, like a nice, good night to day palette. Lots of great colors in there. So I figured this was perfect for our little spring lock. Okay, the Valley Girl coming out. All right, we're gonna go in with, see if I can multitask. We're gonna go in, they don't have shade names, so I think they're numbered, so shade, I think four, it's this really pretty peachy shade we're gonna go in with and see if that works for a transition color. Hope you guys can still kind of see. You know, it is a little on the drier side, this formula, I will say, but still really nice. And I'm just kind of lightly going in with that transition. It's not really showing up. So I'm gonna take the same brush because I'm not gonna go back into that peach and go in with the camel color. It's three, six, I think it's eight, because it's the eighth pan in the palette. It's a very pretty camel brown. I'm going to go in right in the crease with that. Tap off the excess, because there's a little fallout. Just going to swipe that in, out, in, out, if that makes any sense. Right in the crease, which is this that little right underneath your brow bone, depending on you know your eye shape, right where you you know your lid meets the, the open space. And this is just the techniques that I use. You know, everybody's got different eye shapes, so you could do it the way you would like. This is just how I do it for my eyes, and a little bit more on this side. I'm gonna just kind of blow it out just a little bit for a little lifty effect here. Okay, now that, that showed up a lot better. Okay. We're going to go in with a slightly smaller, denser brush. And we're going to go in with that pretty, I want to say, it's, it's very light toffee, which is right next to that camel color. And we're going to be a little bit more precise with this and tuck it into the crease again. I like to build up my colors, and when I'm really, like, going all in in my makeup. I will go in with several colors in the crease just for that really nice gradient effect that helps it look more polished and airbrush. But this is just a fun little feat for you guys to do at home with your makeup that you probably already have. Like a lot of people are like, you know, I, I don't live near an Ulta or Sephora or what can I use that I already have that I can pick up that's close to me or something that's more budget friendly and not super high end. So that's part of the reason why I'm doing this video. And you know, you've got a quick brunch to go to or you just wanna look pretty going to the grocery store, you wanna just do this for you, honey. You'd go on with your bad self. Zero judgments. That is perfect. I love it. You know, this is a really good formula. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go in with a nice flat brush and we're gonna go in with the, I think it's um, number three. It's that pretty light champagne shimmer color. And I'm just gonna press this on the lid, pat, pat, pat. Oh, that's pretty, that'd be a really nice highlight. I'm just gonna lift it just ever so slightly in the, front corner of the eye, the inner corner of the eye. And not, I don't want to drag it all the way to the end. So it will just make it look really messy. Just want to concentrate it right here. I try to keep, you know, unless I'm doing something specific, dark this, light there. Okay. okay. Now I'm gonna go in with a clean brush just to kind of blend the edges out a little bit. Any excess. 
six. Okay, look, perfect. I could go back, like, I could go in with like a really dark shade and just tuck that right in there. But I think we're just gonna keep this light and fun and simple and call it a day. Oh, well, with the top at least. I wanna blow out the lower lash line. <laughs> you know me, can't stop. So I'm gonna go back in with that same brush that I used for the second crease color because it's a little flatter. And I'm gonna go in with that camel shade, the first one we used. And I'm just gonna place that right on the lower lash line. I need something underneath, I need something. Beautiful. Oh, oh, I poked myself in the eye. Perfect. Oh my God, I totally forgot my nude liner. I had a L'Oreal nude liner that I was, oh, I didn't forget it. <laughs> I just got super excited. Small pleasures, you guys. All right, so I got this great L'Oreal Infallible, once again, that's like a big thing for them. This beautiful nude pencil that we're gonna use, because I don't wanna use black liner with this. It's just gonna make it look way too heavy, way too dark, and not to go with what we're going for today. So I'm gonna go really close and just pop that in the waterline. This is gonna wake, ooh! This is why I use a mirror. So maybe we're not gonna go right up in there, but you kind of got the idea. This is hard to do. I like using two hands for this on myself, but I can do it with one hand. I, I, what was I saying? Yeah, I was using whites a lot, like stark whites for this. Look at that, boom, bright eyed and bushy tailed and ready to go. Look, makes you look so much more awake. It makes your eyes bigger. Love it. That is the shade Nude Beige. Okay. So I was using whites and it just wasn't natural enough for me. So I started using nudes and I'm so excited. I love it. Okay. On to the lashes. We are using the new L'Oreal Vol... Oh, I'm fired. What am I talking about? Voluminous. Voluminous Superstar Mascara. I didn't realize this was like a two-in-one mascara. I should have paid more attention when I was shopping. I was just so excited. I usually don't like primers with my mascara. That's like so 2010. Ooh, this is white. But we're gonna see what happens. I'm excited. They had so many mascaras to choose from. And this one intrigued me. It was supposed to be nice and lengthening, but also super lightweight and fluffy so that's what i wanted okay oh she's white i look like a snow bunny now while i do this i'm going to talk about the brows i do have the pencil i got a l'oreal i think brow stylist pen it's like a dupe for the huda micro blade thing super uber fine tip Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to let this dry. I should have read the instructions before I tore up the box, but I think it's supposed to be a little tacky and slightly wet. We're gonna see what happens. Um, yeah, and I got the color Ash Brown, which is a little light for me, but I wanted something not super dark. And I was like really, ooh, this is nice. Really excited with the way it came out. It came out, made my brows look so natural, so fluffy. Um, it was so easy to use. It did take a while because it's a very light formula, not like crazy dark pigmented like a lot of brow pencils are, which if you mess up, you know, those really pigmented things are gonna show and in there. You have to be very precise with them. This one I had a little bit more freedom with and I really am loving the fluffy brow trend, you guys. I am obsessed. So it came out so good in my opinion, but I always do my brows off camera because yeah, brows are my least favorite thing to do. They will always be my least favorite thing to do. They take me forever and I have to uber concentrate and I make all kinds of ugly faces. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Okay, this mascara is working like a dream. Oh, she is really nice. 
I would definitely recommend this. She's not clumping super, like separating nicely, giving me that length and not too thick, but still adding a volume. I really like this. I will definitely be using this again. Got some really good gems today. I'm excited. Whew, pumped. Pro tip real quick for me to you. If you're like me and you're super messy and clumsy and sloppy, um, if you like jab your eye or poke your inner nose when you're doing mascara, do not go right in and try to clean it up. It's just gonna smear and smudge and make a huge mess and make it worse. Wait until it dries. Be patient, finish your mascara, wait until it dries. And then when it is completely dry, go in with a Q-tip, a dry Q-tip, and just do, 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 do. clean it up. So much easier. Oh, we are feeling doe-eyed today. Right at and bushy tail and ready for the day. Really like this, really, really like this. Now, just gonna give a quick bloop, bloop, clean up any little sneaky boys, those little black dots of mascara that just kind of fall down, especially with primer mascaras. Okay, you guys, like, we are good. Like, mm, I'm feeling so good. I am pumped about this. The last thing we are going on to is lips. See how quick and easy this was? Boom, boom, boom. I'm loving it. Now, I did grab a L'Oreal lipstick. They had like 10 million lip products. It was overwhelming. Overwhelmed by choice. I just grabbed something that looked very nude because I didn't know what the eyeshadow was going to look like or, you know, I want something that would go with everything. So I got the shade. It's the L'Oreal Color Riche Nude Intense 178. So I guess that's the shade name, Nude Intense. Yes, I think she'll look good. It might be on the corally side, but oh, okay. It's a beautiful spring color. And this is, I think this is a satin formula. So it's not matte. It's not super shiny. It feels very moisturizing. I'm going to stop talking because it's going everywhere. Okay. Oh, I should have done a lip scrub. You live and you learn. Oh, goes perfect. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. This is a nice formula. Very lightweight, very comfortable on the skin. Super cute packaging for drugstore. Love the gold. So that was it, you guys. Less than a half an hour. Boom. Full face of a beautiful drugstore makeup that is not going to break your wallet. Love it. I think my favorites from this were definitely the Glow, the Lumi Glotion and the Pro Glow Foundation. The bronzer was really good too, but we found some really good stuff and I will be using all this stuff again. And like I said, you can go out. I got this all at Walmart. You can go CVS, Walgreens, whatever's close to you. Pick this all up. I think everything was less than 70 bucks. I Like I said, I'll have all the prices down below. But that was it, you guys. Sorry if you expected more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Keep a lookout for our next video. It's going to be a doozy. A little... I'll let you in on a little secret, I should say. It's gonna be, finally, the much anticipated Mystery Boxes by Jeffree Star. The spring, all three, I should be filming on Tuesday. Please, God, let it come in then. Or tomorrow, I don't care. Two videos, two days in a row, psh, I don't even care. So please pray and look out because you know what follows the Mystery Boxes. Lots of giveaways. So stay tuned and keep a lookout for that video. And I hope you guys really enjoyed watching today. And thank you so much for joining me. I love you all. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.